thank you, Dr. Bhargava, and uh, welcome uh, everybody. I represent a company called Vari, which is uh, currently the largest model manufacturer, wherein our production lines are about two megawatts per day. And we intend to double it up by end of the year to almost about five megawatts per day. The, the aspect here is uh, about the key challenges which we have in the Make in India concept. Currently, everyone is talking about the modules as DCR, where domestic content requirements are there, which means the cells have to be made. The entire structure of the module is cells, or rather, before cells is ingots, and ingots are refined here and made as cells, and then cells are converted into modules. So the Make in India concept, which has been looked at in the solar industry, has been purely on the cells, uh, focusing on cells. So just to remind, or just to give a little feed on this is that cells contribute just about probably two people per megawatt in the construction or manufacturing of cells, while a module manufacturing takes about four people per megawatt. And also the value add towards the model manufacturing is about 15 to 18 cents uh, per watt as compared to six cents per watt in a cell. <clears throat> Now, this was a little on the technical front. On, on, on the other aspects is that uh, if you look at the government expenditure, when you put up a domestic content cells or domestically made modules, which refers to as made cells made in India and then the module, government of India spends about one crore per megawatt as a VGF in most of the projects. <coughs> While if I were to make the module in India, that would cost about six and a half crores per megawatt, while with VGF, a domestic content, again, the government spends about one crore. So that could be saved if the definition of make in India changes. So to a manufacturer, they should allow the modules made in India also to be considered as domestic content, which we are putting across in most of the panels and our discussion panels also. Coming on to the industry perspective, uh, we are talking about 100 gigawatts to be done in five years, which is excellent figures by the National Solar Mission. Are we able to make it, or do we have the land bank? The surprising factor here is, if I were to do about 100 gigawatts, I consume probably about 1.5% of the land bank of India, which is very minimal, reason being, we have about 3.5% of wastelands in India available to be put across, not to forget the available rooftops. So I could actually save a lot of space and a lot of space is available. So that, that resolves the issues of space, but enhances the growth factor because there are many technologies which are coming up by increasing on the efficiencies. So the industry can actually look forward and also consider or define or change the definition of make in India concept because, of course, we all want to make in India. We all are proud Indians, and I would love to do that part. However, the only consideration which I look at is, uh, or I would request the government of India also, is to consider various aspects of the uh, factor which uh, even uh, we had from the earlier speakers about not just the modules, the other aspects, which is the BOP or the BOS, we call, also are made in India. Uh, in spite of the fact that there are some companies who have started uh, manufacturing in India, there is a lot of component which is brought from overseas. So if that can also be converted into a uh, manufacturing base here in India, probably the cost and the quality should also be looked at. The sales when they're made in India, the efficiency of the sales have not been very competitive, which we heard from the previous speakers also. So the government of India has to create a benchmark and a quality aspect for considering that this is what is a benchmark and we are competitive as per the world standards and also are able to convert it into a finished product. While Vari has been uh, trying to work on many aspects of having the, uh, getting the ingots and getting the cells done and making the modules. As I said, we currently have about two megawatts per day as a production of modules. Uh, a little tip on this is that we also are putting up sales manufacturing, but 
we felt that if the modules manufacturing can also be looked at because uh, in the entire project span, the total cell manufacturing capacity in India is just about 500 megawatts. So how do I how do I make it? Which is why we said consider the making of the modules also as made in India. We could actually look at that part and enhance the uh, uh, the manufacturing stabilities. One surprising factor is we all buy modules from China. Uh, last year, the billing of China modules towards India was close to $35 million. So whose taxpayers' money is going on this? Just think about it. So we all have to think on various concepts, innovative methods, and also change the definition of what we look at or what we call as make in India. Thank you.